For almost three decades, my wife and I have called Alaska our home. When the world shut down for a while in 2020, we sold our house in the city and moved onto a hill in the woods with the goal of building a humble homestead for our family and friends. We started by clearing a patch of land to make way for an orchard of fruit producing trees, bushes, and ground cover. The next year, we welcomed eight chirpy chicks and a great Pyrenees puppy named Tuk Tuk to protect them as a livestock guardian dog in training. The animals grew up together into beautiful hens that laid dozens of eggs and a massive hound who protected our land with his booming barks. We figured out how to keep the animals alive through their first brutal Alaskan winter with temperatures dropping as low as negative 50 Fahrenheit and record-breaking winter storms. We thought starting a homestead with no prior experience was a serious life shift, but now, it's time for an even bigger change. It's time to say goodbye to the place that made us. The plan is actually pretty simple. First, sell all of our belongings that can't fit in an RV like this one, plus this trailer. And second, drive south with the geese until we find our forever home. So the first question most people have asked us is, where are we going? And the answer to that is, we don't quite know yet. And that's part of the adventure. The only criteria for a landing point so far are four distinct seasons, several acres of farmable land, and plenty of trees or the space to plant them. Our minds are open, so feel free to leave any suggestions in the comments. The next question people ask us is, what are we doing with our animals? Sadly, we had to say goodbye to our wonderful chickens. We packed them up and headed out of town to a farm with lots of new friends to keep them company, and they seem to be fitting right in. Pigs, goats, our chickens have upgraded to the full farm experience. We know they're going to be well taken care of, but we will miss them and we will never forget them. Thanks for all the memories, girls. You too, Olaf. As for Tuk Tuk, our loyal Great Pyrenees, he is not going anywhere except right along with us wherever we go next. It's going to be quite the adjustment for him to not only live in houses, but also in cities and inside an RV all things he has never done before. Tuk Tuk has continuously demonstrated a high level of discretion and intelligence, and I have full confidence in him to grow from this experience. That's not to say there won't be difficult moments, but sometimes if you wanna do things you've never done before, you have to do things you've never done before, and it's uncomfortable, but that's how we grow. And the last question you might be wondering is, why? Why uproot ourselves from everything we've ever known, our families? Why walk away from all the work we've put in on this land that is just now starting to bear fruit? That was the hardest part of our decision and the one that took the longest to make. The short answer is that our ultimate goal is to slowly work towards homesteading full time and starting a few different farm enterprises to sustain ourselves. It depends on where you are in Alaska, but where we live now, the growing season is 90 days or less. The short summers here are incredible though, so much so that they can almost make you forget how brutally cold, dark, and long the winters are. Starting a homestead in Alaska is totally possible, and there are tons of people doing it at this very moment. But when your growing season is so short, you need to start almost everything inside a month or two early to get a decent harvest, and your biggest cost becomes heating and housing for your farm animals, it loses a lot of the charm and profitability very quickly. Being more connected to the land for more of the year is a lifestyle my wife and I want to live and that we want for our two little ones as well. This is called a cucumber. 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 <laughs> we know that we have our family's utmost support in that. If we didn't at least try, I know I would think about it forever, wondering what could have been. So here's to Alaska. Thank you, and thanks to our families for shaping us into the fiercely determined people we have become. We will never forget you, and we will carry your spirit with us wherever we go. This isn't a final farewell. We're going to have lots of exciting things to share as our little family migrates south, and we hope you'll stick with us for those adventures. Thanks so much for watching and be good.